All right, I'm going to show you how you can scrape Twitter without using their API or their public API. So you're going to come here, inspect to open up the network tab. Then let's refresh this. And to get the user information, like the ID, bio, you're going to get user by screen name. And copy is node fetch, and you can see the results of the query here. Yeah, their ID, I think legacy is where, yes, yeah, so you're going to get the favorites count, followers count, friends, media, name, and then their image, screen name, which you already have anyway. And then, yeah, description right there. So after you copy that, then you can just paste it. Here, I already have this working, but yeah, you're going to wait paste the fetch and then get the JSON by waiting response.json. So if we go ahead and run that, then yeah, we get the same information. And I tested this on AWS Lambda and if you deploy it there, then it still works. So just on a regular server. And if you want to get the user's tweets, then you come down here for user tweets, copy as node fetch, and then paste that in again. And it's pretty deeply nested here. So I'm just going to get one of the tweets. So yeah, get tweets, node Twitter. And then that's it. So I have a nutrist nutritionist call me daily and then you have a nutritionist call me daily and then if you want to get more of the tweets as they load we could just see what is being fetched here looks like there's a lot of calls so yeah you'd have to figure out which one of those are it but yeah so then you can just scrape all of twitter so you won't need to use their api and won't need to be rate limited from them so you can just scrape all you want so that's it